Hello and welcome guys to another video. Today we have two races at Zolder, the top split at PLR for ACC. Let's get straight into the video. So starting off with our qualifying results there, we qualified P9, not the best of qualifyings, but we can definitely make it up in the race. Starting the race now, and as we come into turn one, we're on the inside of the Bentley. I think that's Chaz on our outside there. Chaz is able to hold on to that position and get around the outside. We've tucked him behind Chaz now. We've got uh, the Bentley of Bill behind us. There's contact, both of them. Going sideways there. Up ahead, Chaz and the Ferrari Clyde. That gives us two positions there. Able to slip right down the middle. And we make up some positions there. Now coming into the chicane for the first time this lap. Got yellow flags behind us. Looking in front of us, we've got Bennett in the yellow Porsche. Uh, UK Sim Racer has a bit of a dive. Loses time on the exit because of that. And we get into P7 after that. Right behind Bennett coming into this second chicane. Not close enough to go for a move down the inside, and we are in 7th by, I think, the end of lap 1. So now, skipping a few minutes later, we've been battling with Bennett for a while, and as you see, he goes straight on and we get a position there. Unfortunately, he had a wheel issue, so that gave us a free position up into P6. Now, behind the Ferrari of Alberts, battling with him just like last week, he makes a little bit of a mistake on the chicane. We get the move done and we're back up into P5 there. So we've made up four positions so far. Now skipping quite far into the race, we're now gaining or very similar pace to fourth and third. So we've possibly got a chance at getting a podium this race if we can keep this pace up. But unfortunately, with 11 minutes left, gaining some time on fourth and third, we have a big mistake here, just get a bit of understeer, go wide and the car just completely spins out. Manage to keep it mostly at the wall, tap the wall a little bit at the end, but unfortunately that dropped us all the way down to P9 with the 11 minutes left. So absolutely gutting there, let's see if we can make up some positions before the end of the race. Coming now on the inside of Paul, we've got Paul on our, the outside of turn one. Now we are going to be on the outside for the next two right-handers. Let's see if we can get this move done for P8. We're on the outside, around the outside, trying to keep alongside. Let's see if we can get this move done into the next right-hander we go. We're still on the outside. We get the move done around the outside there. Let's have another look at the helicopter angle. As you can see, down the inside at turn one. We're then on the outside for the next few corners, as you can see. Paul on the inside and we're on the outside very very close racing there and then space given by Paul we both gave each other space great clean racing and then coming around this right hander we get the job done there up into P8 and now with about 30 seconds left of the race two laps left and unfortunately as we come past Alberts now he's made the mistake we're on the outside we come into the sh second chicane now and Albert spins us round. I think he would jumped over the curb and spun us round there. He didn't give us a position back so that ended up costing us two positions. We can see the other angle of that here. This is us as you can see our chase angle. Albert bumps us there and then bumps us again and spins us round. You can see Albert's angle gives us a little tap coming into the entry of the corner and then completely cuts the uh, corner there over the curbs and that unfortunately cost us two positions and we ended up finishing P9 in that race. So let's now look at race two. Uh, this is the qualifying as we come round turn one we're about a tenth and a half up on our lap. Two tenths now. It's varying quite a bit as we go through some of the corners. We're currently sitting provisionally P4 with eight minutes left of the second qualifying. Going round this right hander now about two tenths up as we come round that right hander now into the first chicane of sector two. 
and as we come into the chicane a bit slow here we don't use as much curb as we could have so we definitely lost some time there we're about two tenths as we come into the second chicane now and as we come into the chicane using as much track as we possibly can without an invalidation as you can see about two tenths up on our lap coming round this right hander now that finishes off sector two we're about two tenths up on our time Coming into the final sector now, we've got this very tight right-hander now. Trying to keep our time up, we've got about four tenths, but we lose a little bit on the exit, so we're back down to about two and a half, three tenths when we come into the final chicane now. Just coming into the final chicane, and we are about three tenths up on the entry. As we exit the corner, we get a much better exit than previously. We're four tenths up. By the time we cross the line, we're about half a second up. And that qualifying put us provisionally P3, and by the end of it, we qualified P6. So after qualifying P6, I knew we had good race pace from race 1, and there was definitely more time in the lap. So now let's get into race 2, green lights, and away we go. We have the McLaren on the inside of us, we've got Buscus behind us, and Troy in the AMG as well. I quickly changed my camera, there was a bit of a error there. And then coming round the right-hander here, just behind the McLaren, we're currently sitting, um, I think, P7 or P6. Uh, the timing screen hasn't updated yet. Coming into the chicane now, unfortunately, Hammer makes a little bit of a mistake in the Bentley, I think. Gets a very, very slow exit and we're able to get the move done. Around the outside now, coming into the sh second chicane, and we've got the move done before the chicane. So we're able to slot back into the racing line, and that's us in P6. Now skipping a little bit more of the race, currently sitting P6 on lap 2, and we've got Hammer right behind us trying to get past. We've been able to defend so far, so we're just trying to hold on to this position and keep Hammer behind us. We've got 5th and 4th in front of us, as you can see. Um, let's see what the timing screens are. Now 25 minutes left of the race, we're going to go for the inside on the McLaren, getting down the inside into turn 1, let's see if we can get this move on the brakes, late on the brakes, we're on the outside again coming into this right hander, looks like we're going to have to try getting a move around the outside again, and we get the move done around the outside into P5. Now behind the Ferrari, now as you can see we've been gaining on 4th and 3rd, so Looking like we may be battling for a podium again, but we're going to try and get into fourth on the brakes. And the Ferrari gives us a little tap as we get past, and that's us up into P4 from P6. And now, as you look at the timing screen, we're, we gained about half a second um, in the first few corners here. We went from 3 seconds at the start of the lap to now 2.5 seconds. But as we come round the right-hander here, about 2.4 seconds off the uh, Audi and P3. 15 minutes left. We're finally in clean air after getting past the Ferrari. Trying to push for our first podium in this ACC league. And as we come into the chicane, we clip too much curb. And the car goes absolutely flying into the wall. An absolute disaster for us. And that had the chance of a podium has just completely disappeared. And we're down to P7. Absolutely gutting after um, the chance of possibly getting a podium there. So now skipping to 10 minutes left of the race now. Trying to recover from that mistake. We get an easy position from that McLaren going wide at turn 1. So we're currently sitting P6. We've got UK Sim Racer behind here. We go a little bit wide on the gravel. That allows him to come past quite easily because we've lost so much momentum. We're in behind him for the chicane. But just coming round to the chicane after this, then UK Sim Racer, unfortunately, as we will now see, makes a mistake coming round. A little bit too much speed into the corner, just loses the back end, able to keep it facing uh, straight, but unfortunately goes off track there and we're back up to P6. So really gutted there that we missed out on what could have been our first podium, but we finished P6 in the second race there. Hope you guys enjoyed that race. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.